let's look at inefficient tissue dissolution. We're going to put a piece of tissue in a glass canister and we're going to expose it to full strength sodium hypochlorite. We're going to put time lapse photography on this, uh, on this um, canister and we're going to see at the end of a full 30 minutes that we're going to get partial tissue hydrolysis. We're going to see byproducts in the form of bubbles, um, which are ammonia and carbon dioxide. And basically, this is a self-limiting reaction. The solution gets used up. So if you think that you're going to place sodium hypochlorite in a patient's root canal system, come back 30 minutes later and have a disinfected root canal, that's a misconception because the, the reaction is self-limiting. Let's take the same size piece of tissue in the same glass canister with the same full strength sodium hypochlorite and this time rather than let it just sit there for 30 minutes we're going to exchange the sodium hypochlorite every five minutes. We're going to wash away the old sodium hypochlorite, we're going to wash away the byproducts, the bubbles, we're going to re-energize the reaction and at the end of a full 30 minutes what you're going to see is complete tissue hydrolysis. So this is the difference this is a fluid exchange and there it is a com complete tissue hydrolysis so if we look at inefficient tissue dis dissolution ammonia and carbon dioxide bubble formation and inadequate solution exchange that's the key if we look at efficient tissue tissue dissolution no bubble formation adequate remember what we said about fluid exchange so if you take 20 grams of shrimp and you agitate it, which is what passive ultrasonic irrigation does, you'll see that at the end of 45 minutes, there's going to be a good deal of tissue hydrolysis. But remember, it's a self-limiting reaction. The solution gets used up. The effectiveness of the solution gets used up. So at the end of a full 45 minutes using passive ultrasonic irrigation, you're going to see that about 14 grams of shrimp were um, were hydrolyzed and about six grams of shrimp were not hydrolyzed. So now we look at bottom aspiration, which is basically what Endovac does. It places solution, full strength sodium hypochlorite to working length and it sucks it back out. More solution down, sucks it back out. So you're going to see at the same, at the end of the same 45 minutes with the same 20 grams of shrimp that you're going to see complete tissue hydrolysis. And that's due to again Chow's paradigm of fluid exchange. It's self-limiting, you have to keep exchanging the solution. And if you look at the end, you can see that one had um, incomplete um, tissue hydrolysis and the other had complete tissue. رشي بالهواء كده عمري بالهواء عمري بالهواء عمري يلا بقى صوديوم <تصفيق> 